Mutants, aliens, warlords, and punks, oh my, we got it all. But now, if only we knew where to put them. I know, let's put them in one trashy 80 mashup sequel. Break out your beer and pizza for Mutant War from 1988. Well, Bob, you know, I actually think the sequel is better than the original. And I, I know that's setting the bar kind of low. Oh, hi there. Welcome to Creature Features. I am your host, Al Omega, the Alpha and Omega of all things science fiction and horror. Okay, now, I did tell you that we have something new coming up, and we got about another week or so before that happens. And I did tell you last week, especially in the comments on YouTube, I wish that we could do a comment section somehow on our... Netflix channel, Netflix, I wish we had a Netflix, on our Roku channel, which of course is Creature Features Network, so that we could communicate with our fans that way, but haven't figured that one out yet. I said we had a movie very much like last week's movie. In fact, this week we have the sequel. Dun, dun, dun! Now this film takes up very shortly after the last one and makes about as much sense. And it has the same good acting. It does also have the same lead. But before we talk about him, let's get into the rest of Mutant War from 1988. Once again, it is written and directed by Brett Piper, so we already have the bifecta of badness. And just like last week, uh, you know, he does a lot of special effects we haven't talked about. He was in things like, well, I should say, he was the tentacle wrangler in Lycanimator, a movie I would not think would have tentacles in it. And he did the miniature effects for Guerrilla Warfare Battle of the Apes. And he was in charge of the inceptive effects and direction in Raiders of the Living Dead. What the heck are inceptive effects? Does Leonardo Decapitated show up or something? No one on me. That said, let's get into tonight's movie. Interestingly, while we have our lead from the last movie, there are a whole slew of people that have higher ranking in the credits, starting with the punk leader, played by Steve Bulliga. Hope we got that name right. I don't want him to come bully me. This is the only movie he ever did, but he also did the voice in the video Return of Captain Sinbad. In the part of Terry, we have Jennifer Cates, and this is the only thing she's ever done. And there's going to be a lot of that in this movie, even though they have higher standing in the credits than our main character, who did a lot of work. So, don't know what happened there. In the part of Houston, we have Mark Deshays, and he was in our last movie, and he was in Nymphoid in Barbarian Hell. I'm sorry, the Nymphoid in Bar Dinosaur Hell. One more time. Nymphoid in Barbarian... <laughs> Nymphoid Barbarian in Dinosaur Hell. There we go. And part of our, in the part of our prisoner, we have Cara Lee Holmes. And she did this and The Apprentice, which came out last year. Now, not all hope is lost. We do have at least one familiar face here. In the part of Reinhardt Rex, we have Cameron Mitchell. Now, he left the building in 1994, but he had a long and active career. His first movie was back in 1945. And he was a staple of Western movies and TV shows. He was in things like Man in the Saddle, Wagon Train, and Bonanza. But he did a number of fantasy sci-fi horror movies like The Island of the Damned, Nightmare in Wax, 
and he was even on an episode of Night Gallery. I have green fingers. Elsa Lanchester, where are you now? Our younger audiences might recognize him from things like Space Mutiny or Night Force, or The Tomb and Jack-O, both of which we've done. Now, he left the building in 94, but he's originally from Dallastown, Pennsylvania, and one of his nicknames was Nutty. He was the son of a minister, and he went on to Broadway, and during World War II, he was an Air Force bombardier. He has over 300 film and TV appearances, and while he is known for his thick Pennsylvania Dutch accent, I never noticed it much. Now, he had other options in life. In high school, he had been scouted and made offers from several Major League Baseball teams. Now, of course, as an actor, he's had a number of less than glamorous jobs, uh, which included, of course, being a dishwasher, but he was also a page at Radio City in New York, alongside another young man named Gregory Peck. Back in 1950, he was working with a lovely young blonde who he introduced to Ezra Kazan and his friend Arthur Miller. I think she married Arthur. That was Marilyn Monroe. He once said that people forget a professional actor works hard at his job even when the vehicle is terrible. An actor can be good, although the public may not give him credit. Sadly, he also once said, I like to act because I don't like myself very much, and acting is an escape. Now, in the part of Beth, we have Deborah Quayle, who looks a lot like Denise Coward from our last movie. Miss Quayle has had an excellent career starting out in 1982 with model behavior, and she went on to do things like Neverland and the Young and the Restless TV series. Uh, she was also in the TV series House and Private Practice. Apparently, she looks hot in a nurse's outfit. And finally, in the part of Fox, we have Alex Pierney. And he was in things like Nymphoid Barbarian and Dinosaur Hell. See, I got it right that time. And the class of Newcomb High, the good, the bad, and the subhuman. He was also in They Bite. Now, I'm wondering if he's talking about the film or his agent. And of course, tonight's movie has that 80s goodness of mat work, stop motion animation, and cheaply cast resin sci fi bits that just made it overall schluckiness that we loved so much back then. It's also got that silliness that keeps the plot moving along. And you need that because there isn't much of a plot. Now, if you didn't get to see the last week's movie, don't worry. This movie stands up very well by itself. Now, that said, uh, we may have a short. Or I think we're going to show some interview stuff. And then we'll get into tonight's movie, Mutant War, from 1988. What I want to know is how does spiders cellophane her hair without a curling iron? This is the inner sphere. Thousands of planets colonized by humankind. Once it was united under the Star League. But for the last 300 years, it has been consumed by savage wars. Until a new enemy appeared. Mysterious invaders known as the Clan. Powerful and ruthless, they struck like lightning, attacking every sector at once. But they made one big mistake. They attacked my home planet. Now in the spirit of the Star League, ancient enemies have reunited. And we're going to take back our galaxy.
For the blood of Kerensky, I was hoping for at least a small contest. This might just be an exercise, but I expect us all to work as a team. I would rather practice on a real enemy with weapons that work. Not these depowered lasers and simulated missiles. Look out, Hawk. Zero the hero talking tough again. Ooh. Do you want to get blown to bits, hero? You gotta wait your turn like the rest of us. Oh, leave him alone, guys. Or he'll stick his mummy and daddy on you. <laughs> Much time has passed since I was required to fulfill tasks so menial. I guess that's why you're so sloppy at it, eh? Well, back in the Star League days, this base used to house the 208th Striker Regiment. When the Fedcom troops moved on to the Klan front, they left this place to the Romulus militia. Most of us are too busy tending our farms to use it, though. Kerensky will return. Activating holographic simulator. This is one of the few Star League hollow simulators still operating. It's amazing how much has been lost since the Star League crumbled. We've forgotten a lot in two centuries. When General Kerensky's descendants return, the Star League will rise again. That old fairy tale? Give me a break. Where was the great Kerensky when the clans invaded? Citizens of Quota, as the commander of the forces that vanquished your army, I welcome you into Clan Jade Falcon. Last embers. Distance have faded. This planet is secure. Excellent. I will now take the honor of conquering our next objective. A world commanded centuries ago by the founder of my bloodline. A planet called Romulus. Hang on to your neuro helmet. I'm firing up the training sequence. Spooky. According to my sensors, they're the real McCoy. Now they may just be holomechs, but your computers will register hits just like in a battle. And oh yeah, it'll feel as real as it looks. All right, Rachel, feed me some info from up there. Tactical operations officer reporting. You've got three enemy mechs just beyond the reach. What's she talking about? They're right in front of us. Watch out! They're grouping together. You got any fresh info? There's some kind of time delay that... Adam, I'm routing this signal through too many satellite relays. I think it's causing a time delay. Way to go, Major. Our tactical operations officer's useless. Then let's work through it, Zero. Kylie, what can you tell us? For starters, I'm getting my butt kicked. Leaving our tech ops officer in space? You try to get us killed? Forget this chaos. Attack formation Delta. Everybody. Zero, what do you do? Captain Hawkins, Captain Ryder, resume your position. Cool down, kid. I want to survive this skirmish. Get back here now! Hey, Zero, watch your aim! So much for the arrow, Jock. Thanks a heap, Hero. That's two down. Hey, I can't move my leg. Your computer thinks its legs are blown off. Your mech's dead in the water. This simulation was based on the clan's field maneuvers. Hey, our tactics defeated the Drax and the... We're fighting a new enemy! And they aren't impressed with your quaint little defense formations. Hyperspace jump complete. Vitor, Natalia, prepare all Omnimex and Elemental units. The first place of the Malthus bloodline will be mine. Hey, Kylie. How do you know when your new CO is a Steiner Blue Blood? When he's a royal fain in the... Now, Major, the shrimp may actually have a point. You're trying hard to live up to that name of yours. Maybe too hard. They didn't make me a Major for my name, much as you won't believe it. Major Steiner, unless you require us to witness more of your battle prowess, I request leave to take the dropship to Rima Spaceport for supplies. Affirmative, quite a. How do you know that Drax won't abandon us? 
If that was their big plan, why did he call first instead of just leaving? We can't forget their enemies. As Kerensky says, Kerensky's dream was to keep the inner sphere united, Zero. Wouldn't he want us to work together? Communications are down. I say again, I'm interrupting specific plan transmissions. Do you read me? Adam! Rachel, Lieutenant Spectre, please respond. Mr. Hartman, end the program. Ah, uh, you can't cancel the war just because you lost touch with your mommy. Something is very wrong here, Captain. The warship spotted several mechs on a ridge 30 kilometers due east. Permit me to lead a star of mechs to engage them. I need young, vital warriors, Plato. Not your aging cannon fodder. Star Commander Natalia, your elementals will handle this fiddling matter. We are? Ah, Star Colonel. Star Commander Plato, you may search the spaceport for pockets of resistance. That is, if you are up to the task, old man. Warriors of the Inner Sphere. I am Nikolai Malthus of Clan Jade Falcon. The conqueror of Somerset, Wotan, and Romulus. So you're the monster who destroyed my home world, my family. I hereby issue a formal bachon. How did you get on my view screen? How many warriors do you bid in this battle? I'm not bidding anything, pal. I'm hitting you with everything I've got. How amusing. What are those? I don't know. But our fearless leader just committed us to battle totally unarmed. They think we can't beat these puny things? Zero, wait! Nuts at last. A freeborn wealth with spirit. 
I shall destroy him myself. The heads of people were moving out. Perfect distraction, schoolboy. I just hope we survive it. The dishonorable dogs have fled. This ought to do, as long as they aren't looking too closely. I've got to say, Major, that was one sneaky maneuver. Mm, anybody for some chow? Thanks, I'm starving. We deeply appreciate this, Mr. Hartman. You're risking a lot by hiding us. Major Steiner, do you copy? Come in, Major Steiner. Can't even get a message out on the emergency frequency. The longer we wait, the lesser our chances of escape. What? Without the major? He's necessary. Attention! This vessel and its contents are here by the property of Clan Jade Falcon. Show us your cargo at once. We are simple produce mate. We have nothing of value to you. Silence! Bring it on. Let us cooperate fully with these men, yeah? Nothing out of the ordinary here. How did... At smuggling, I am not so sloppy. It'll do. Got my lasers back at full strength, but nothing in my auto cannons or missile launchers. Still, I've won less. Really? No. What did you make us run? We had our butts handed to us by the little gun. What chance did we have against their mechs? Alexander Kerensky didn't hand out medals like this one for cowardice. How about putting a lid on that Karisky garbage short stuff? The only garbage I see is a mercenary lowlife. Yes, a lowlife who just happens to outrank you. <laughs> Kylie, give me a hand. All the clan's got to do to win is leave us alone with each other. This merchant cast refuse to the re-education camp. Perhaps they can learn their proper place in society. At least they didn't find the weapons we have stored in there, yeah? Major Steiner will be happy to hear that. Major Steiner is the least of my concerns. Fear warriors are hiding on this farmhouse oh. with dangerous occupants and incite my wrath. Stand and fight, or their fate will be on your hands. Threaten my family? I'll give you a fight. A labor cast throne taking arms against a trueborn warrior? Obliterate oh, this place. Karin! Gretchen, run!
Thanks, Major. Do you do, Wendell? My kingdom for a working auto cannon. I've got an idea. Everybody, assemble in parade formation. Uh, begging the Major's pardon, but have you flipped your royal lid? Haven't you noticed each clan neck only engages one of us at a time? So they're big on etiquette. What's that got to do with us? So we're gonna corral them, and Kylie's gonna brand them. Believe it or not, I copy that. Oh, I got you, sweet boy. You wanna make them overheat. Heat sink and saturation. Catastrophic failure in 10 seconds. Nice teamwork, strikers. Look out, guys! people, we're pulling out. Major, what about the Hartmans? No, not that way! Zero, get back here! No! Warning, fusion reactor breach. Critical failure at 14 seconds. Zero! I'm not picking up any emergency signal. He must not have fired his escape pod. I'm going back for him. Hey, let's focus on the others. We gotta find him. That way, Major. We got some empty mines that haven't been used in years. Learning when to cut your losses is what leadership is all about. It ain't pleasant. But in war, few things usually are. <laughs> you earned your first strike, Major. So long, Sierra. Looks like you're a hero after all. This is what they used to call a city. Ten or so years ago, it would have been alive with noise and lights and mobs of people. It's quieter now. There used to be eight million stories in this city. Now it's down to one. That's me. I'm doing a little shopping. Who I am and what led up to all this, I'll explain later. Right now, something's gonna happen. Some aged liquor. 
throw this stuff out. Yeah, I need two extra arms. My name is Harry Trent. To adapt a phrase from one of my favorite books, you don't know me without you have read my memoirs. And you haven't read them because there are no publishers left. In my memoirs, I told the truth, mostly, about how the Earth was invaded by pig-faced aliens called Aizags, and how they were defeated by a band of heroes and a device called the Neutron 90 bomb. I was one of the heroes. And the Neutron 90 destroyed the invaders by melting them down into goop. 
It also released an unknown form of radiation that even its inventor never suspected, which has just played hell with the ecosystem. After we defeated the bad guys, the idea was to start rebuilding civilization and getting things back to normal. But it hasn't worked out that way. It hasn't worked out that way at all. He's dead. It's safe. Look, he's dead, see? He's not dead. Look, come out. It's okay. Come on, come on. He's not dead. Oh. <laughs> All right. Here. I told you so. Now he's dead. For all I know, that thing over there could still be alive. It is still alive. That's better. It's called a car. I know it's called a car. Do I look stupid? So what's your name? Spider. What's yours? Harry Trent. My family talked about you. You're some hero? So, where is your family? Dead, mostly. Except for my sisters, who were with them. The mooks raided our settlement, killed most of our men, took a bunch of us back with them. I got away, and then that thing came after me. Extra. This was my extra. I didn't know it'd be so far between sources. Is that the whole country? The whole country? No, it's just the southern part of the state. What state? How old are you, anyway? Old enough. Everybody's old enough now, kid. It's the southern part of this state. And we're right about here, and there should be gas or something around here. You can... You can come, you can stay, do whatever you want to do. I have to find my sisters. By yourself? 
I'll find someone who'll help me. Good luck. Okay, all right, come on. We'll go, see if we can find some gas. Check out the area. And then, we'll see what happens. This is space. The fuzzy green ball is the planet Neptune. It's the eighth planet from the sun, about three billion miles from here. And none of our story takes place on Neptune. However, unknown to me while I was looking for gas, company was headed our way. Its makers designate this as a class two starship. Just a little thing, but it'll get you from one star system to another. Right now it's heading for Earth. We'll see more of it later. There won't be any power for the pumps. There's got to be a tank around here somewhere. Well, this should work. I need to get some hose. Why don't you look around, find buckets, anything you put more gas in. Okay. Why don't you go see if you can find anything else around here? This was not the kind of life I envisioned for myself. Saddled with a child? She didn't even look like me. Well, maybe in the nose.
thought you were okay. I'm okay. You're not okay. You're burning up. So? So we gotta get you someplace where you can rest. I'm okay. Shut up. Seems okay. Um, gotta get rid of that fever. I don't know what happened. Bacteria on the animal's skin when it hit you. Something. Okay. Um. You're not dying. Who will save my sister? Don't worry about that. Everything's going to be okay. I'll get you through tonight and you'll be just fine tomorrow. Everybody's dead. Mom's dead. Dad's dead. And now me. Stop it. And then them. Terry and Jen. You, you, you'll be all right. Everything will be all right. Then we'll find your sisters and they'll be all right. Promise? I promise. Dad? I love you, Dad. I love you too, kid. Easy. you're holding me to that promise. What do you mean? You don't remember? No. Well, we'll drive back to the station, fill up the tank, get some extra gas. Well, get in. I have to find my sisters. We'll do that after we gas up. What are you waiting for? Get in. Most of them live underground. There are miles of corridors from whatever the place used to be. Like Morlocks. What? Nothing. What are they? They used to be men, I guess. When they attacked your people, did they have weapons? Just clubs and things, like us. But they're so strong, our men didn't have a chance. I don't 
don't see any females. There aren't any. Not of their kind. Look. Look. Down there. You see them? Those two women? Your sisters? No, two new ones. New ones? What are they gonna do with them? They're not... They're not cannibals. That and worse. What do you mean, worse? The mooks are dying out. They can't breed. But they keep trying. I don't know. I can go down and look around. I can lead you. You can stay here. I'm going. No, you're not. I'm going. You're not. I'm going. You're not. I'm going. You're not! What about me? Can you shoot? No. Stupid, you're, you're too damn small, they'll never buy this. They haven't stopped us yet. Yeah, well, it's just a good thing they're morons. <laughs> Sure. 
here. Yeah. Be quiet. What is this place? I don't see, I don't see anything. It's so dark. Stay close. if you can do it right this time. No, I... See if you can do it right. Who's he? The future of How your goddamn race is at stake. And all my plans, which is what really counts. Do it right! Do it right! Delicious things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. The sparkling drinks are just dandy. The chocolate bars and that candy. So let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Back to creature features. Now, of course, this is the part of the show where we talk about the person that didn't get talked about. And that's usually really easy, especially in this movie. So many people did so little. But I'm going to give it up for Spider, played by Christine Waterman. She only did two movies. This and Cemetery High, both in 1988. So I guess it was a good year for her. I don't know where she is now, but I hope she knows that we're thinking about her. <laughs> Go! 
Listen. They're not following us. That worries me. Look! All right. Come on. Let's get out of here. It won't move. We can do it. What's this? Where do these things keep coming from? Okay, keep pushing. All distracted. Sneak by with these things on, maybe. But if you don't look like our prisoner, they're gonna get you for sure. Please trust him. He saved both of us. Come on, have a fair fight, maybe, like one-on-one? -on -one? What do you say, come on, big guy? 
<laughs> Thought she was your prisoner. That's what you were supposed to think. Who are you? Well, this is Spider. I don't know who this is, and I'm Harry Trent. Trent? I've heard everybody has. And it runs? Of course it runs. I haven't seen a car in years. My name is Fox. These men and I are all that's left from our village. The rest were killed and the women taken. If our women are out there, then we're gonna bring them back. How, with sticks and stones? I got news for you, they got a leader, a human leader, and they're building real weapons. Oh, you have real weapons. Not enough. So what should we do, forget it? Leave the prisoners down there? You got a name, lady? Beth. Well, Beth, we didn't leave you down there, did we? I'm sorry. Haven't even thanked you yet. You're welcome. I got business of my own to do down there. I'm not gonna let these goons get away with what they're doing, but we're gonna do this job right. We're gonna get more weapons, we're gonna get more reinforcements, and then we're gonna go down there and mop up. We've tried. There just aren't any weapons. What'd you say? I could be wrong. All right, I need two people to go with me. It's all that Carl will take. I'll go. And me, me too. Okay, you're going. Listen, this could be dangerous. I'm not afraid. I know you're not, but I am. If you came along, I'd be too worried about you to take care of myself. You, you stay here, all right? All right, climb in. While we're gone, the rest of you keep low and take care of my kid. Nobody panic, but we got trouble. Ah! Shit! Is he okay? What? Oh, now you'll be all right. Um... 
around here now. Yes. We take what we want. And everyone else can kiss our ass. Ain't yes. that yes. And if they don't like it, the hamburger. Yes. Yes. And you guys, you know what's going to happen to you? Mm, you're going to invite us to brunch? <laughs> ah. Close. But not quite, no. We're gonna take everything you've got. Then we're gonna have some fun with her. Then we're gonna kill you all. That was gonna be my next guess. Who the hell are you, wise guy? Harry Trent, schmuck. Never heard of you. Okay, guys. Let's party! Yeah! Easy to Do you want dog meat? Got a proposition for you. We got everything from you we want. What, a car, some guns? It's nothing. Yeah? Yeah. Listen, here's the deal. You let us go, and we take you to where we got that stuff, and there's plenty more where that came from. Suppose we just make you tell us. Ah, uh, cut it out. You're gonna kill us anyway. Our lives are all you got to bargain with. Get this man something to drink. If you know what I mean. Mm. This is great. Got any marshmallows? Here, have a drink. What's that? Just drink it. It'll make you feel good. And it'll make you real honest. Not bad. Save the planet. I'm gonna save the planet. 
I'm saying, I said, I got, I got, I'm saying, but this girl, Dana, oh, she was, damn, I don't know, she was my first thing in five years, and this monster, this hideous freak, she's the alien, they bring up the room, no, no, I said, gotta kill, gotta kill the aliens, and so I'm leaving the earth, and I'm, I'm in, sp I'm in space, man, oh, it's, no, no, the earth, it blew up, it blew up, I saw it, it was like right there, and I'm looking at the screen, and there was, and I was like, wow, I was going to stop it. And it was like, yeah, and then there was, it blew up right there, and then, then it was. Oh, man. I'm leaving. Five years. Five, five years, five long years. I was going crazy. I was, I was in space for five years. Five years. What a beautiful planet. Mutants, mutants, man. These big faced uh, aliens. And then we gotta go to this guy, we go to the fortress. We have fortress in this. It's a new no 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 It's a neutron, a neutron, fifth neutron neutron ninety bomb, the program is I don't know. Where'd he get that car? I don't know. I haven't seen a car in 20 years. It's a neat car. Eh, probably out of gas now. He says they've got weapons. Where? We looked everywhere. I saw. I saw well, one. You saw one. I saw one. Remember? Whose nose was this thing ass. shoved up, right? <laughs> huh? Shh. Wait a minute, guys. I heard something over there. Where are you going? Just wait a minute. I know what I'm doing. I'll be right back, okay? Just leave it alone. Pleasant dreams? Yeah, great. Where are we going? To the mutant village! <laughs> Where's Fox? He's back at the camp. He'll be okay. God. What happened? No. what we're up against. 
she's still alive, Trent. Right. The weapons you want are down there. Coming. Cut the crap, man. There's nothing we want down there. You've told us everything while you were out. We came anyway. We like a good fight. But not with bows and arrows against these things. Get the hell out of the car. You're freaking crazy, man. You. Get up. My child, please. Stop here. We can't take the car in. We need the firepower. We'd attract too much attention. They'd... You'd never find Spider alive before they stopped you. You know how to use one of these things? Sure. Okay, wait here. If it looks like I'm in trouble, come get me. Has anybody, has anybody seen a little girl about uh, this tall, wild hair? She's gone. They took her a few minutes ago. Hey, what do we do? If you try to escape, they're going to stop you. But it's up to you.
sit their own throats. We had weapons, man. We could kick some ass! Second, hold on. You sell guns? That I do. What do you got? Omega M346 class automatic. 50 K rounds per second. Help ourselves. I can use these things as well as sell them. Look, man, there hasn't even been money on this planet since the pigment came. I see. But I'm wasting my time, aren't I? Hold it. Just a second. I suppose you must bother sometimes, right? Sometimes. What have you got? Somebody get this man a drink.
this guy's got some big plans. Well, tough guy. How are you feeling? Fine? Yeah, I feel great. Who are you? <laughs> Reinhardt. Rex. Rex. Like in King? You got it? As in King. <laughs> These are my... Sons? Subjects. My army. I'm in charge here. Wait, don't tell me. I can guess the rest. You're assembling an army of mutants. Then you're gonna spread out and conquer the world. <laughs> what a perceptive young man. Conquer the world. That's me. Now you. What about you? Who are you? Riley. Doghouse Riley. Well, Mr. Riley, you impressed me. You really did. You made it single-handed into the heart of my fortress, slaying a dozen of my formidable genetic creations on your way. I'll tell you something, Riley. I have a problem. Even kings have problems. These mutants of mine, they're incredibly powerful and loyal as dogs. Unfortunately, they're as dumb as dogs, too. I'm coming to realize that if my army is going to be effective, I'm going to need men like you. Young lieutenants, tough, resourceful, to keep my troops in line. You're offering me a job? Yes, I'm offering you a job, Mr. Riley. No, I don't think so. Are you quite sure? Yeah. Positive? Mm-hmm. Then I guess I'm gonna have to kill you. I figured. Wait. No hasty decision. I'd like to take you on a tour. Great. Okay? Then I'll kill you. <laughs> Tell you what the signal was? No. Let's go for it. All right, go for it. This model, my best. A monster. The trouble is, I haven't been able to breed the bastards. But with him, I have my best chance. Especially since we have a <laughs> younger partner. Ah, there she is, Mr. Riley. <laughs> Hello, little cannibal. <laughs> ah. Trent. What? Somebody you know? What's the matter? She's just a kid. But that's the point. That's what I just told you. A younger partner. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Huh? Would you like to see it? <laughs> <laughs> 
That's the way you want to die. Help yourself. It's moving. Oh, shit. Mr. Riley. Ugh. 
Drink? Yeah. Same one we gave you? We gave the arms dealer. We got the guns. Well, it sure works. Oh. Okay. Easy. You look like hell. Feel just fine. I don't know how to thank you. Could if we had time. Glad we didn't kill you, hero. Yeah, me too. It was a blast, man. We'll have to do it again sometime. Ah. Forget something? No, it's nothing. Hey, Trent! Are you Trent? Yeah. Our little sister couldn't stop talking about you last night. Oh, so you're, um, you're Spider Sisters. Thank you. You could stay with us. You could stay with us, help us rebuild. No. No. Thanks. I got... I got hero stuff to do. Take care of me. Take care of the kid.
Where'd you learn that? Taught myself. Pretty good. Where are we going? Well, I don't know where I'm going, but you are going back home. You're leaving me? You love me. I hate that kind of talk. You risked your goddamn life for me. You love me. Maybe I do. But I refuse to give in to it. I'll be back. Promise? Screw you, too. <laughs> You too, kid. I love the first monster. It looks like it's right out of a Spawn comic book. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that. Personally, I like the spaceships in this one better. A lot of times they would just get several model kits and use parts from all of them or some of them to make the alien ship or gun or whatever it was. I just like how the ship came out in this one. You have to wonder about our hero. Yes, he's famous for having stolen the tape. But do people generally also know that it's his fault that we have mutants because of the radiation? I like at the end where he pulls his car up onto the road and you see another car way in the distance. Now, as for Cameron Mitchell's part, they did all of his filming in only two days. I guess they didn't have enough time to get the script to him so he could review it. Because on the first day, he had to read all of his lines off of a cue card. 
And now for a movie where most of the script could have been on a cue card, we have our Netflix and chill moment. This week on Netflix and Chill, we have another movie with aliens and ships, and they may have had the same budget, but boy, did they come out differently. It's hard to find movies today that have mutants and aliens and invasion forces that are fun, and this week's Netflix isn't. This week we have Beyond Skyline. This is a sequel in the original movie Skyline. Aliens showed up, and they did what aliens usually do when they show up. They become bad house guests. This looks at what came after the first movie. Just like tonight's movie, a little bit of time has passed, but not much. And just like tonight's movie, you can see this one without seeing the precursor. So if you want lots of CGI effects, gritty, ineffective dialogue, and a simplistic plot, check out Beyond Skyline on Netflix this week. Now, sadly, this week we did lose some people. Jim Brown passed away. He was a strong and handsome black man who made himself famous by playing football and then switching to acting. Many people will remember him from his role in Mars Attacks. Ray Stevenson passed away. He was an actor with a huge background, appearing in things like Star Wars The Clone Wars, Thor Ragnarok, and... Star Wars Rebels. And finally, Tina Turner passed away, a singer and actress that lived a roller coaster lifestyle. We hope that wherever she is, love's got to do with it. Well, that's our show this week. Tune in next week when I think. We'll have something unique and special for you. But until then, remember to wash your hands like you've just murdered the rightful king and that he's Bob, I'm Al, and we'll see you at the movies. Bob wants to remind you, younger viewers, that if you're in a car and you step on the brake and the gas at the same time, it doesn't take a snapshot. The real question is, does it take a selfie?